Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is G. Cole, and welcome to Homegrown, where I get to share with you some good music while talking to some great people. Hello world, I hope you're feeling as good as I am. I want to big up all my homegrown listeners out there and welcome all the new listeners. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do so we can keep you updated when new material is available. We will be posting new episodes bi-weekly. I want to thank everyone who has been listening and sharing. Please leave us a comment, we'd love to hear from you. Please check out the website homegrownwithgcole.com to listen and for all things homegrown. The podcast is now available on iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, TuneIn, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and all your podcast platforms. We're also very interactive please follow us on twitter instagram and facebook at my g cole the video of this interview is available on youtube please subscribe to our youtube channel this is episode 58 and this episode is brought to you courtesy of aqua gem records latest releases the cobra man bounce by legendary studio one guitarist mr dwight pinkney and i'll be around by the legendary mr winston francis are you ready whenever you call me i'll be there Whenever you want me, I'll be there Whenever you need me, I'll be there I'll be around Feel that groove, yo Mr. Winston Francis Brand new tune, it's called I'll Be Around And oh no, lightning has struck twice Legendary guitar player, Mr. Dwight Pinkney. If you don't know, see Ken Booth, see the Gay Lad, see the Whaler, see Marcia Griffiths, Dennis Brown. This piece is called Cobra Man. Studio One Legends at it again. Both songs available on Aqua Gem Records and v Music. Available on iTunes, Spotify, all your digital retailers. Ladies and gentlemen, in a time where we we kind of throw around the word, and I'll say we throw around the word legend too loosely, you know, there are few, very few have earned that title and represent the culture, the entire culture, all right, to its utmost extent. I'm talking about from reggae to dance, to whoever you want to carry it, sound system, culture. And one of those people hanging out here tonight, his name is Mr. Bobby. Digital. I'm going to open up this microphone. Sir, welcome, welcome, welcome. Yes, sir. Big up. Big up yourself. Big up yourself. Big up. Give thanks. Give thanks. Give thanks, man. You hear me say it all the time. I just love having a conversation with the legends. I'm one of them people who I like to learn and I feel like, who else can I learn from? Sure, sure. You know what I mean? Are you set the trend or not? Are you set the beast, you know? <laughs> the roots. That's where, that's where it goes. The that's roots, where it goes. You know? The roots, the roots. Now, going straight into it, um, you're, you're, you're as active, or should I say, as present um, now as you ever were culturally. Yeah, you know the thing? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. We can't leave the roots in and leaf on the branches and the stem, you know. I love it's it. from there, you know. I love until it. that time, until this time, the thing is still growing and blooming. You know? I love it. I love it. I love it. Let me ask you this though, being in and around sound system culture, I see the difference is some people are on sound system culture, some people are on dance hall, some people are on reggae, some people are on production, some people are on, you know what I mean, artistry and engineering. You've done all of that, yeah, right? Yeah, the only man. thing I'm not sure you ever do is probably build the wall, them on the roof of <laughs> the studio. You know what I mean? But you've done all of that. Yeah, man. To you, what's the most noticeable, noticeable difference you see in, in, in the whole culture then? I want to say then, but let's say 80s when you kill it with the Shaba and the Mane versus now. Well, you know, it just, as I would say right you now, it's just a, a culture drift right you now. Most of the young people them, trying to do something different, you know, they are trying to make a different mark. Mm-hmm. I try to um, fuse certain type of music with the reggae music and uh, but, but, but I say that everything have its place and it have its time, so we just have to give them the opportunity to really prove themselves, you know? Yeah. They say, which of the scale was and still is mm-hmm. from that time until now, you understand? Yeah, yeah. What I dig with the way you look at it, you know, is some people automatically critique, you know what I mean? I criticize the youth, them thing. There was a time when what you were doing was being criticized because you uh, were the youth. Uh, uh, 
it was the same thing. So you know. The same thing. So you still have to give you them a chance to really express themselves. You know? Yeah. It's all about expression. Yeah. So um, if you don't give them that chance, you won't see where them thing will really yeah. go from there. You understand? So yeah. you have to give the, give the youth a lie. Yeah. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I'm glad that you can voice that because when you, Bobby Digital, voices that, a lot of the people who no one get the youth them to lie will definitely say that they need to. You know what you I mean? Know, because when I was said well in early days, I was mostly in sound system then before say get into the music. Mm -hmm. And when I get into the music, I realize say, you see, I am into these parties and I dances and I see how the people react and behave towards certain type of beat and certain type of music. So when I get the opportunity to go in the studio and say, yeah, mm -hmm. production time, I just try to put what I learned from in the dance, you know, yeah. in the studio and make it be mm -hmm. a public thing that people could really feel what is happening in the dance. Yeah, yeah. I like that approach because from what, what you're saying pretty much, I think a lot of people get it backwards. I think they're trying to write about now, take the studio. I'm focusing to the dance uh, right. versus yeah. get the dance and bring it to the studio. That's you that's dance art. Get the experience first. You yeah. have to feel the art beat first. Because if you don't feel that beat, where you gonna put it? Yeah. You know, it's, it's all about the energy what create around you. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I dig it. I dig it. Now, tell me what did I'm gonna get specific right now? What the song, Peeny Peeny. By Shabaranks, do for your career and credibility for as you as a producer. Well, <laughs> Rex and Garden, big up yourself anyway, there. Yeah. Because that was that was one of the first songs, you know. Mm -hmm. I get an opportunity to really record for myself, put it on my, my on my own label. Yeah. We say set a, a a little mark because that song. Yeah. Yeah, man, it break grounds. Wow. So that was the bench, that, that was it for you. Yeah, Once man. that song that come out, yeah, man. you were on. Yeah man, peeny peeny and the mama man thing, the duck and, and, and everything. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't say them at that part there right now. <laughs> but censorship. Alright, sir. Alright, sir. I dig it, I dig it, I dig it. Now, some very huge names, right? And and I feel like you're the most qualified person I can ask. So I'm going to be throwing everything at you. There are some very huge names that have done albums that are classics. Mm -hmm. And um, and in the category of, we'd call them top dance all album, top reggae albums. And they've done some, what I'd call some washes too. You know what I mean? Some mm -hmm. little things where I go, balance out the, the, the thing. And I've said to people having conversations, you know, how could they? And the response I got from somebody, some, some of my peers pretty much is, well, remember, say, Bobby Digital produced the one day, you know? So it's like, okay, so, 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 Bobby produced the one that sets the standard. Mm -hmm. And when them do the one that don't set the standard, the excuse is, well, I know Bobby Digital do that one day. So, you know what I mean? It's kind of like, it automatically we say, yeah, we are giving my pass because, you know, I never Bobby did to them. So if it was Bobby did to them, we wouldn't have gotten that. When, when it comes to these artists going in the studio, what is it? Is it you bringing out greatness out of these artists? Are these artists coming prepared and saying, yo, Bobby Digital, I'm going to work with this. I got to make sure I'm going to come correct. What do you think? You know that um, most artists, no matter how big the artist is, mm -hmm. when them say they want to go Bobby Digital, it's like... I come correct. It's like it's a university. Yeah. And a man who want to make no mistake. So I am the type of person who, if you come in front of me, me you want to hear something good. And if it's not good, me and you go sit down and work it out. Yeah. And make it be into what I figure say. I, at that, mm. at that it's supposed to sound like, yeah. at that it's supposed to feel like. You understand? So a man don't just come and fling anything and, and Bobby just sop it. Yeah. No, yeah. it has to be correct. And that is the problem with most of the songs them nowadays, you know. A, a, a man have him locked up in his bedroom and mm. doing thing and embrace him and say, yo, wicked, wicked, put it out, boop, 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 boop. Mm -hmm. But they don't have a second or a third of opinion for say, no man, go get the thing right. Yeah, yeah. 
I like that. And and what that says to me pretty much also is that it's not because I think some people in the back of their minds is just yo, that's that's Bobby Digital, that's a professor, and so you go going then if you think they're right, you might go expel it from the university. Uh, uh, right. When it's not really that, it's As you not, sitting down with them and say yo, yeah man, this is how it goes. Yeah, and go like this, and we come up with ideas, we come up with topics, mm -hmm. but really, because it's safe for instance, to go and make an album. Yo, you can't just have ten song and talk about the dog. That's <laughs> <laughs> so boring. But that that's a go on over there. So. All right, I'm gonna live and talk about the dog, the dog, the dog. And get a run around. And uh, every other <laughs> animal need to get a, a, a run to. <laughs> you understand? So you can't just deal yeah. with it like that. Everybody have to pick and say, topic A, this is what we're gonna say. Sing about topic B. Try to make composition about these. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. It's all about composition, you know. It's not a just a la 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 and that makes way, sense. Way, and in rhyming skill and you know, it's yeah. all about getting the thing right. Uh, it's amazing you mentioned the whole rhyming thing there, because I, I, I to me I always say to people there's a difference with a wordsmith and a lyricist. All right. Mm. And I think you've worked with a lot of lyricists and created a lot of lyricists where you have a lot of people who are just wordsmiths with me and they can put words together and it sounds clever, but it means jack. All right. And you know, some of the time you, you really, it will start a lack in a certain, um, says some artists not really have the knowledge for really dig deep in the dictionary, you say. Yeah, but anything will come at them out, them try to say it. Mm. But you just try to correct it, make it be a composition, you right. know, sentence, proper sentences, tense, everything. Mm. You understand? Mm. Someone just want to talk. Yeah. You know, because the same can talk. Because, you understand? Yeah. <laughs> Makes sense. Makes sense. Now, I always, when it, when it comes to questions of the legends, you know, I, I have to ask another legend. There was an online publication that put out a top 10 reggae singers all time recently, right? I hate when people do that all together. Reggae, hip-hop, whatever. I mean, I like the whole top 10 because mm -hmm. it's subjective. But then there are some things that are blasphemous. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You will never say who are the top 10 basketball players and don't put Michael Jordan in it. Mm -hmm. You may leave a Kobe because you don't like him. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But you're not going to leave for Michael Jordan. Now, the list had no Dennis Brown in it. Mm. Right, so of, so automatically it was a dead list to me, mm -hmm. and I am on here blasting it because yo no D Brown on it garbage, right? Mm. Now I've asked many singers, many producers, the whole nine, they can agree, but there's some people who who who, who had a little problem with me bashing it. What do you see a list of top ten singers coming out that don't have Dennis Brown on it as a valid list? No nah, man, Dennis Brown for top the list. Not even on the list, but number one. Top the list. I don't afraid to say it. Right. You know, grow on Dennis Brown, even before Jamie Cliff, Bob Marley, mm -hmm. were the elders then. But Dennis Brown, you know, you know that man, different from the rest, you know? Yeah. S stuck out in reminds. I think we are... And you grow up on those things. Mm -hmm. When you never usually hear them other people, a Dennis Brown we are here. Yeah, yeah. And it's not a genre thing. When, when I talk about Dennis, it's not the best reggae singer. No. He's one of the best, best singer. Best singer. Come on. Love some Dennis Brown. Love some Dennis Brown. Come on. Now, when, it, when, it, when you've created hits, hits and hits over the years, and I've, again, I ask singers and producers this too, I get a variety of different answers, right? When you're in the studio, when you're in the lab, I cook up the hits them. Whether it be for the singers, whether it be for the DJs or whomever. When you stop the recording, do your thing and listen back, can you tell right then and there, say, yeah, the one here? Hit? Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah? yeah, man. When music hit you, man, you feel no pain, man. <laughs> yeah? Yeah? And you try to get it right the best way. Most enough for the time, you know, songs. To make it today, you know, and all the next week is still I work on it, you know. Mm -hmm. Because something we never hear, and you go back and you play, and you go back and you listen, you just want to make it right. Because you see, when that thing goes straight, 
there's no getting it back in yeah. to make that correction. Yes, when it's gone, it's gone. When it's gone, it's gone. So you, you can have the vibe and you know, say, yeah, I hit this in about me. I fit, make sure, say, it's right before before you jump the gun. Because when he held there, he held there. <laughs> if it good, it's a slam water road. But if, yeah. if, 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 if it's not good, yeah, who is? So give it up. You can't give a dead love. Junior give Tucker. Up. <laughs> Your girl is talking. Pastor Tucker. Trust me, was yeah, I singing on Mr. Ray too, you know? Yeah, man. So him and Tony Cruz sound like... Yeah, man. Pastor Tucker. Sound like, 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 like Junior Tucker. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Junior Tucker. But ladies and gentlemen, again, I'm playing this compilation because the album's out. The project's out. So this is his latest album. You need to go get it, all right? Bobby Digital Extra Wicked. It's two pro- two projects out, and I'm going to talk to you about the next one in a minute. But this one here is Junior Tucker, the reverend right now. But he was ripping the dance song years ago. You know, I'm wondering about though when you when when you get in the studio with the artist, right? Because again, that's one thing. Some people have made hits with singers, and some people have made hits with with, with DJs. You've made hits with musicians, with artists, everybody who come through. Is 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 there any more of a challenge to do it with a singer than it is with a DJ, or vice versa? No oh, man, this is a natural thing. Man. Yeah, it's a natural thing. Find your avid, your avid. Yeah, good artist, good rhythm, good production, yeah, yeah, man. quality yeah. music. Yeah, man. Find you know what you your aim is about and what you really set out to do that day right because it's not about the amount of songs what you're doing it's the quality mm-hmm. songs what you the quality song what you want to do you know yeah. so if you take the whole day if you do the song i just the whole day we'll sit down and work on it right till we get it right you understand and until it right now yeah, yeah, because most of the time song right right there you don't go a man has come with an idea. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A man has come with an idea. And the idea spill out. Yeah. We, we, we build on the idea. Mm. Because okay. it's not like say, a man come with a full composition right. written. Right. Say, yeah, yeah, yeah. A man has come, give it up. And then from there, we sit down line by line and, and build a thing. Wow. So that's probably why we could have gotten those qualities because it was a contribution from multiple people. It's like, can you put a couple of different brains together? All right. Mm-hmm. It's not just me and the artist. We have friends who are just start chatting. I'm going to burn them one thing and I'm going to drink a beer and, you know, mm-hmm. I'm going to put in them own lines and thing, you know. So mm-hmm. it make the thing in a... a, 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 a a good product. Yeah, yeah. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Now, I'm going to drop some names on you, right? And I want, because again, you've worked with them all, right? So I'm going to drop some names on you. And I just want you to give me a little, a little, take me into that experience working with some of these artists. And I'm going to start with an artist like uh, Shabba Ranks. What was it like working with Shabba? Well, he's like a brother. Yeah. You know, because, you see, when you know people, it wasn't like no. Artists. Mm-hmm. It was like we all grew up in the same neighborhood and and we have the same life experience, hardship and yeah. everything and you know. And you always hear these youths from the liquor sound system them and you say, yo, them youth are wicked, you know. But I never knew that I would get a break to say be in a recording studio. So you see when I get that chance to be in that studio mm-hmm. and I say yeah me have to find two of them you take on the ear on the little sound of the road. Yeah. Admiral Bailey and Kibaranks and Shabaranks and them little thing there. Mm-hmm. So me I say yo Shaba when that man come into the studio and we sit down to do anything man, him not left out there until it right. Wow. And if him leave and Gone and I call him back and say, You know what we did do yesterday? No, man, it never s- sound right. He might come back and do it. No hesitation. No, him not itch. Wow. He might come back and do it and say, hm, B, Friday you say it's not good, you know. He's yeah. not good. He might come back and do it, you know. Yeah. Yeah, man. So, I did love what the man did after the thing. And still, 
Because what make him so successful, you know, him dedicate him time to him, to him work, you understand? Mm -hmm. Play come after. But when him at work, him serious about it. Yeah. Yeah? You sit down in a studio all night and all day. Get it right. Just to get it right. Wow. So you see, this, you, you see the artist on stage, I jump up and that's what you see, but you don't realize what. All uh, uh, right. So when you even build the music, you know, mm -hmm. you're actually seeing what happening on the stage, you know. Wow. Wow. Because you have to visualize it and say, no, oh, whoa. If you remember do this song, mm -hmm. when you end up on the stage, whoa. You have the people then. I got you. I got you. Now, with what you guys were doing, sound system culture and studio culture were so intertwined, right? Where it's kind of like the, the artists that you, you have in the studio repping the sound. Mm -hmm. Was it a situation where they were on the sound first and then you bring them in the studio? Or them come to the studio first and you bring them to the sound? No. How that work? Sound first. Sound first. Yeah, because I knew like Admiral Bailey of sound, Shabaran of sound, all Tontuary and all these people. Mm -hmm. Them was on Black Star Sound, Admiral and a little sound down by Towail. Mm -hmm. Shabab and a little sound him roots melody. And you know? Yeah. They always like on a Friday night to have a certain little spot you go. I know say that a Admiral spot. Yeah. And yeah. go down the hurley for here where them are going. I'm gonna kick down fence and yes, say yo. So uh Admiral now is like one day a little man there at Jamie's where usually DJ pan Jamie's sound I say if him not talk on Jamie's sound it can't play. I mean I say but this man you know what I say all these things you know him not too <laughs> brilliant as a DJ. <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. Him not much lyrics. Yeah. So I say you know what you got single call Admiral you know. Send me like a bridge and go call Admiral and come and he say, you know, turn to a room, I go string up a little thing down here, you know. Come and jam is Wednesday night. Come and find a power in P for you. Because this man is safe, he no talk, nothing can go on. And bring in Admiral and say, yeah, come, you go play some Struda one all night. I mean, never say water was black, so I don't know no dance. It was an exercise, the ass. The children say, Yeah, yeah. The ass, you're wicked, and he might go go her road. <laughs> yeah. First run that him get. Yeah. Yeah, man. Cool, the one. Cool, now. And this is Jammies. Yeah, man. So you can hear them from early and know say, the ability is there. Yeah. But them just want the exposure. Yeah, yeah. Man. yeah. And that was something that you were willing to give to him. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. And when I get the opportunity to be where I was at the time, studio, mm -hmm. I really wanted to help some of the youth, them women usually hear, mm -hmm. attack, you know? Yeah. And Admiral was one, Shaba was one, you know, so. Yeah. Well done, you know? Of course. To say the least. To say the least. And you were talking about these things, ladies and gentlemen. I feel selfish not even getting like a squeeze off of the thing. You know what I mean? This one is Shabarangs. Now yeah, when me was a little boy, my flavoring game was this. Now all old people come back to your memory. Give me all this on. Why? It's called Extra Wicked. Make sure you go get it. Bob Dish, let me ask you this. Because a lot of times when it comes to the legends and like yourself and those people who do things well, very, very well, it's a day at the office for you. So you just do what you do. You know what I mean? Have you, have you sat back yet and, and realized the legacy and the legend? of Because you're still doing this, you know? So sometimes it's tough to really digest that while you're still actively in the trenches. You sit down and realize the legacy that you have created? Well, Father, I, 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 you know, say it's just like some of the time 
is when I hear about the music them. Because it's like when me I make the music, mm-hmm. when I have nothing but say, I don't want to hear it back in, I just want to do another track and another track and another track. Yeah. But of lately, when we really sit back and, re- and look into things, I say, yo, I me really do them things eh? <laughs> Yeah, man. You have to. Yeah, man, I say that to myself, man. Marvel at your works. Because you have to realize now we live in at a time to where man make a big chew. Man, not make, we get credit where it's due. Mm-hmm. Man make a big chew Monday, you know. Mm-hmm. But Friday, gone. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And we are talking about songs that, you know, older than my kid. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Older than probably somebody. Yeah, you're. man, songs over 30 years, I say, yo. Yeah. And still a shell down. Yeah, man, I said to myself, boy, I really did I do something. Yeah. It's a blessing. Positive, you know? It's a blessing. Now, I asked you about the names that we asked about Shaba. What was it like working with Abuja Bantan? Mark Myrie. Yeah. I can't forget that day when that youth come and sit on the fence outside across the street. Yeah. And say, what the man for voice me, you know? I said, look at boy. <laughs> How old was he at this point? Boy, around 12, 13, you know? <laughs> oh, snap. I said, boy, are this true or this? And I said, yo. I mean, say Red Rose, tell that little boy that's if it go on at school, you know. Because I don't want the police come across the street because the station is there just across the street from me. <laughs> I mean, say, I don't want the police them come over here, come see that little youth here, you know. Yeah. And then I say, yo, so I give him a run, you know. So Steely, I'm a ready, man. I mean, so Steely, came in this cut of this ready, man, because it's coming like you know, I'm a youth's feet, you know. Mm. You don't know what to do with them make you when you make them, you only use them and play up and sound, you know. Yeah man. So I call in Wayne Wonder. And Wayne Wonder give me a thing, when I'm with you. Cool man. I'm with the free. And we say, yo. And when we say, look at you, yo. <laughs> red rose, bring him in. Yes. A red rose even sit down and I say, yeah, come like a vice to look at you too. Yeah. I mean, I tell you, man, when the man tackle the thing, man. It's crazy. It's, yeah, crazy, dude. You're going to go far, kid. And him a hoe? Yeah, man, 13, so. Wow. Yeah, man, so him a chap. At a 13 years old? Yeah, man. And this and, 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 and has made his way to legendary status yeah, himself man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. over these years. Good, 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 man. Bless up, bless up, bless up. Now, when I was in high school, right, I had a album you have certain things i can borrow from you can borrow money from you can borrow certain mm-hmm. things but there's certain things you can't borrow from sure. me but if i got it still cassette it, it was one of them things you can't borrow from me mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying what was that like working with the silky one boy Ghana, it was a special one you know yeah i'm not to listen to you there anytime the you the utter a cold bump i can wow. tell you that wow one a of cold the bump man yeah man Cold bump because no matter how simple the song or the rhythm may be, when the man open in voice, the youth open in voice, yeah, it's like you can feel the trueness and the realness, yeah, or yeah, your body does, yeah, tremble. Yeah. But you know, say, Oh, I get that out of himself, him really now, yeah. The natural thing that I mean, I hear nobody until this day have that, you know. Since, because everybody comes to their own yeah, thing. Yeah, man. And I mean, that's what got it, bro. Yeah, man. That that thing that was different. Yeah. Different when him utter. No matter if you even write a song and give this youth right and now and him start to read the words. Mm-hmm. Just reading the words sounding like a sing him a sing it. Wow. Wow. Like a, him just write it. Wow. Himself. Wow. Yeah, man. That's a talent that most yeah, don't man, possess. Gifted, man. He was gifted with that. Deliver the message. Yeah, man. Regardless of where he come from, yeah, him, deliver man, the message. Deliver it. Trust me, one of my favorite ladies and gentlemen. Look to the east for the coming of a black king. Behold! Christ in his kingly character, Christ in his kingly character. 
Christ in his kingly character. Welcome, Janet. Christ in his kingly character. Danny Wagwan Hope. No brother man say Rasta. Who goes? It must be Jaja. Thank goodness I don't have to wonder. I know who he is forever. Christ in his kingly character. Christ in his kingly character. And you hear me mention that there are two projects, all right? So this one comes from Serious Times, all right? So I, I'm in awe, right? Because I'm, I'm a person like this. Sometimes I will take the scenic route home because I need to hear the rest of the album. You know what I mean? I'm on the road right now. I'm going to make a reach home in a 10 minutes. You take the long road. I take the long road because the, the thing now got done by the time I reach home. And that's what was going on as I'm listening to these things. But may not even get you the whole thing yet. May I go through a little quicker, a little quicker, a little quicker to get through to it. Massive and crew, again, make sure you go ahead and add these things to your collection. Now, as I listen to, you know, you, you, you're, 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 you're a vinyl dude too, right? Love the vinyl sound. Hence the reason why you're blessing us with the presence this weekend here. But as I listen to the music, the production, if you put a brand new artist on one of them rhythm, and I have never heard the rhythm, I think I'd know. Even if I can't identify it as a Bobby Digital production, I would be able to identify and say, nah, man, this now come out of one of the students nowadays. It now by such and such and such and such and such and such. You know what I mean? It's sound warm. It's the true analog sound. Even when we talk about analog sound today, as something else. Is that is 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 a new analog sound, I mega call it. It's not that sound that you did. I know you can't drop the formula up on the massive and crew. You know what I mean? But talk to me about when Bobby Digital sit down and I create. You know, it's it, it sound, it's mm -hmm. sound. I can't tell a man how to tune for him sound, you know. Yeah. Because him tune him sound and say, boy, him sound wicked. Mm -hmm. But when he tune my sound, my sound tune different from <laughs> him sound. <laughs> right, right, but right, right. Say, I'm an earpiece. Don't tune as of my earpiece sound. Yeah. You understand? Because what I am looking for, I mean, I hear it yet. So me, until me hear it, yeah. he say, yeah. Yeah. So that's why the sound can't be duplicated. All right. <laughs> it's, 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 it's not so much the Bobby Digital sound. It's the Bobby, it's what Bobby hears. Yeah. All right. I got you. <laughs> I got you. I got you. Now, anytime, I was a little ticked off about that list, like I mentioned, mm. because the list was greatest Jamaican singers, right? Mm -hmm. It didn't say greatest Jamaican albums. Mm -hmm. It said Jamaican songwriters. It said some singers. Mm -hmm. I never see no Sanchez on the list. Nah, man. You know what I mean? So, so to me, you don't violate no twice. You know what I'm saying? What was it like working with Sanchez? Sanchez great, you know. As yeah. I'm going to tell you about Ghana Silk. Mm -hmm. With him, he gave him something from paper. Mm -hmm. Kevin Jackson's like that. Yeah. You write something and give him. Because mm -hmm. you know, some most. Um, People thought that um, I Can't Wait is a foreign song. Oh, really? Yeah. And that song was written right there in the studio on the floor. Yeah. Me, me and a guy named Mikey Spence. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. You say, you love me, baby. Yeah. And you're going to be, yeah. I can't wait yeah. till the morning comes. All right. And them things that, but me, me can't blame Most them. people, because he was known for that. No, the sound do you know? But the sound... And the melody that we chose because the type of rhythm what it yeah, was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand? Yeah. We didn't want to go in the melody of the original melody. Yeah. So we took it from that and make it, you understand? Bobby Digital, I tell people all the time, and I'm growing up in the 80s, 90s, right? Choir, church, school, I sing for Try to Get Girl and all them things there until people say, <laughs> anybody right now between the ages of 30, 45, we tell us them to learn to sing. They were not learning to sing. They were learning to sound like Sanchez. Like. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. 90% of the people who come out and I sing them there was, was doing their best version mm -hmm. of Sanchez. A national treasure. And I think we I think we overlooked that brother there too much. And we're talking about that tune. Say you love me, baby, and we should be together. But you just drive me crazy. Let's run big up yourself. Now that we are together, I can't wait till the morning comes. Oh, girl. And I can't wait till the evening's gone. All right. You call me on the telephone. Oh, 
legends, ladies and gentlemen. And tell me you're calling home. All right. Trust me, trust me, trust me, trust me, trust me, ladies and gentlemen. Again, Sanchez, Kevin Jackson, me tell say up, one of the best. Up, big up, big up, big up. One big of the best. And I think he's an unheralded, unsung artist, you know, because when people, w- when he touches the stage, the ratings is there. Yes. And yes, people are yes. like, yeah. yeah. But whenever they, 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 they talk, and yeah. the conversation has been yeah. had, yeah. I don't like the fact that the yeah. name's not in the conversation. Yeah, right. We have, to, we, have, we, have, we have to do something about that, Bobby. <laughs> that we have to. All right. So we have come up there. We have come up now, right? And there's a name of an artist who came out, you put him on, right? And he hasn't left. Even to this day, I don't think there's been an era of time that he never had something popping. Being a man. <laughs> what was it like working uh, with Moses? Moses. Yeah. A good youth, you know. Yeah. Because, again, just like our Admiral and Shabbat passed through and being a man passed through and to. They usually put being a man from beer box. Before we even need to man. <laughs> too small? Yeah, man, too short. <laughs> so that's what uh, I'm getting in? Yeah, man, be the man, man, usually. We, we, we have sons in the communities, you mm-hmm. know, and Alika Bridgen usually come from Canada in, in the holiday time, like August time, and bring them in the set and yeah. shake it up on the sidewalk and, yeah. and be in and be in the man and Risco Benji and Little Kirk and Black Mice and mm-hmm. you that come out, you know? And just for really hear yeah, the little you them. Sometimes we are you too, you know? But if you see them little, little you, the baby them, mm-hmm. and try to do them thing, mm-hmm. say, yeah, man. Wow. Yeah, man. But Moses, a nice youth, good youth for it, really do music with. Yeah. Because when the man they say, yeah, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it don't happen. Yeah, man. Yeah. Could you tell right then and there that you have another star on your hands? Yeah, man. Him, no. <laughs> I can remember, you know, long before I even record Moses, is he's really bonnily, I used to come with Moses at Jamie's studio and say, he have a little DJ youth, my man vice, one night, you know. And the little you sit down in a studio one night and vice one whole album. <laughs> wow. You know, so from them time we have say, yo, that little you take your body now. <laughs> in the normal. A little DJ sensation, nothing strike a lead it called that little album there. Wow. Way back. Yeah. Way back when being the man around around twelve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah man. With an album. Yeah man, a whole album man. And it, and it, and it, and it came out. Yeah man. Mad. I guess he's way more disciplined than I thought. Cause if you give me an album at 12 years old, yeah, you, yeah, you, couldn't, you couldn't yeah. talk to me. Being the man, I, I do him thing from a long time, you know? Yeah, long, yeah, long, yeah. Long, long. The legend, ladies and gentlemen, I, I can only ask the legend about the legend. You know what I mean? That's what, what's a dig. Now, we see Bobby Digital, the man, the legacy, and, and, and from, it's one of them situations where it's like, you, you, somebody said to me one time, said, I never said, Bojo. I come up. That's why I had to ask you. Mm-hmm. It's like from them here the name Bojo Bojo was a star. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I from me here the name Bobby Digital. You've been putting out the hits, right? But let's let's let, let's go back a little bit more. Where where tell me exactly where you are from in Jamaica and and, and let's get into you know, not too much but kind of life for Bobby Dixon before you became Bobby Digital. Ah, uh, Bobby Digital, Bobby Dixon. I grew up in the Olympic Garden area, which is situated between Waterhouse mm-hmm. and Olympic Garden. Mm-hmm. Right? The whole of that spread there, from Cockburn Pen, mm-hmm. come right up to Sea Drive, Firehouse, all in them area there, and my area, my turf. Yeah. Walk up and down barefoot, every little thing. Go Balmogi Primary School, Penhunt Secondary School. Into little technician work, love the sound system thing, head on to a studio a thing, and the rest is history, you know? Wow. So you, so you are a technician yeah, by trade? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which yeah. I guess that helps you when it comes to? Yeah, right, engineering. Engineering stuff, and everything there, transform, a billion yeah, sound and everything yeah, there. Yeah, can fix TV and radio and all them stuff. Mad, mad, mad. Yeah, so. Who gave you the budget? Who, who named you Bobby Digital? When I born a lean, you know? Yeah? 
Him, 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 yeah, man. Him, him always a nickname people. <laughs> you know, so I fling on the one day. And a stick. And a stick, you know, so we just go with it, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it fit. All right. It fit, it fit, it fit. Now, sound system culture we're talking about now, right? Besides the weight and the bulk, of course, how much do you miss those vinyl days? Boy, I hear me miss it, man. <laughs> <laughs> miss it. Miss no, you don't want to carry the crate still, you know. Yeah, you don't want to carry it either, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't carry no But the sound. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. That sound there and that thing, the what I have. Yeah. yeah. And the CD and the MP3 and the thumb drive and the laptop now have it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? You can. And it's a good thing for you have the thing in your hand, so I know, so yeah. Yeah. This year I put a hand on a, this year I dropped the needle pump. Yeah. It feel like. It, it feel right. Yeah. Yeah, it have a weight. You can't yeah, feel the weight yeah, of the MP3. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I even wondered to myself before, I'm like, yo, if the, digi, if the vinyl sound is, because I love it. Mm -hmm. How come nobody ever said, you know what? I mean, it might be too expensive, but let's mm -hmm. let's 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 take the vinyl first and as a process, and then put it to the MP3. So maybe we could get at least a sound, mm -hmm. but it probably still wouldn't be the same. True, 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 true. Maybe who knows? Are you about digital now? So you, you might have a better one. You know, all them thing that when it come to the digital sounding thing, it, it, it too compress. Yeah. Because them try yeah. to compress it to get the space. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. So it's you're absolutely right. It's not, it's not gonna work. Mm -hmm. It's it not going to work. It's not mm. going to work. Now, I've heard many stories of the process of validation it took to get an artist to even enter Jammies or Bobby Digital Studio for come to some work, right? You can't just get up off of the road from... I've spoken to... I've sat down to singing melodies. I've sat down to with everybody and have the conversations. Mm. And you can't just get up and walk right about now. If you know your directions, you can probably walk in a circle house. You know what I mean? You might have to go through security. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. But as far as I'm concerned, there was a process... For you as an artist, for even getting a jamis, talk to me a little bit about that. Well, you know, um, at jamis, you know, we usually set up dates like for audition, like on a Wednesday or a Saturday, mm -hmm. because and you find out said two jamis sound system play you now in them time. You find say only part a little youth start coming on a earlier dance and say them want talk on the mic and say them a DJ and Jammy sound, I carry the swing, and so everybody want to come at Jammy's. Mm -hmm. So, for really get an ear and ears off of them, really. And you, you, and you couldn't just say, Come as studio. Mm -hmm. You have to say, All right, you go and set up a studio um, audition, mm -hmm. and you know, give them time and give them a number and say, All right, try with that data. Yeah. A year audition, and then you go through this selecting process. If you don't go, they try to encourage a man. Say, no, 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 no. You need to go get yourself. You know, in yeah. June, and yeah. you know, cause you don't just tell a man say, rare, rare. Yeah. Cause you never can tell what a man will turn out to be at the end of the day. Still, you know, understand? Yeah. So you have to still have to give that encouragement there. Yeah. Say, the thing that's on right now, you have to go work on it. Yeah. You know, so. So you are building, if, if, even if I'm not getting a date and you don't deem him qualified to be among the roster, right. it's not a situation where I'm going to kill your confidence. No, you know no, what I mean? No, no, no. I love and that. Uh, you know, you still have to get a little hope there, you know, because. Yeah. A man dream, you know, you can't kill it, you know? Yeah. You don't want to kill a man dream. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. I love that because that's very necessary even to this day. Until this day. Can you never like you said you never know? Because that man must pass your way another day. Yeah. Yeah. Must pass your way. Yeah. And you don't want to hear your member. Yeah. <laughs> member say you did. Yeah. Yeah, you know them way. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Them say if you hear that Bill Gritman or Kill Gritman. All right, cool. I <laughs> dig it. I dig it. I dig it. That being said. From your vantage point, as you see the new artists coming up because of the process, a little different or whatever the case may be, you think some of them new artists would have make it back in the day? I don't think so, you know. Yeah. I don't think so. Because, you see, most of these new artists now don't have no experience. It's like they are about to grown. Mm. Home grown for them. Mm. Yeah, you know? so them only pick up corn in a them yard and the corn of them pick up them feet, say. I hate that. the right feed never get. Yeah. But they not go out there. When a sound box go sleep yet. Mm -hmm. If you go talking and one dance yet, feed hear the crowd that say Ray or Boo. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. You understand? For no, so you have to go in poop on your thing. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. So where them catch it, them catch it where when our fruit is ripe. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. I think that's the reason why now you will see an artist thing shot from the studio. But mm. they can't connect on the stage. Ah, you better know that. You know, back then it would have never happened because that yeah. was you were creating yeah. from the stage. All right, you would create from the stage. So from you out there, and you mingle with the people, and the people you know say, yeah, that you you go wicked. Yeah. But from you just jump and come in and the thing, so I where him come from, you know, one got a tune voice <laughs> when him come on the stage, him not sound like oh. Yeah, yeah. Him do the thing on the music. Yeah. You understand? So. Can't deliver that. Advantage and disadvantage, you know? Trust me, trust me, trust me. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sitting here with Mr. Bobby Digital Dix. I'm having a wonderful conversation. Time's off the essence. You don't know it's late and, 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 and it just flew in. So um, we're almost that time. But I'm going to just touch a couple more joints from this compilation. I'm going to tell us, you need to go get it. If you don't have it, you know, it's for me, it's a situation saying to somebody, yo, yeah, let's play a Bobby Digital tune, but it's almost like if me play any song created between this time and this time, them 20 years here, it's highly likely if me random to play one, it's going to be a Bobby Digital tune. If, if I'm selecting big tunes, if me I select some little thing, then me can't hit, I, can, I could miss. But if me draw any big tune between the 1980 and 1990-odd, mm. and to be perfectly honest with you, up to the 2000s, mm. It's highly likely me I draw by Bobby Digital. So if me dip in on my thing right about now, I say, you know something, there are certain things me like, I may draw one little thing and, 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 and something like all this, I'm still going to end up drawing a Bobby Digital. Hey you, where your program wickedness? <laughs> Open the ears and listen. This is Question from me, Darren Fabulous. Listen. I've never ever seen, seen a body fight, fight before. before Does a man ever get murder front of your door? You owe the ball, say no murder me Hey, you owe the ball, like a little baby If a jungle man owe you when time in red Alright ladies and gentlemen, let's get a little tweak, a little piece sight, you know I mean? We see the copyright people in the building, we're gonna talk to them a little bit later But let's say I drop something like even, 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 even this Get it, Joe. Oh, That's how we need to forget them. That's how we need to forget them. <laughs> the amazing thing pretty much is you dropped two albums the other day and I've had it for a couple of days and I have not gone through the two albums yet in its entirety. So imagine if I'm sitting on one and say, yo, I got you Bobby Digital catalog. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, it's, it, it's not going to work out for me. Yes, it's not the inner catalog. <laughs> right there, I don't even have quarter this song. <laughs> and that's just two CD. Yeah. Trust me, Bobby Digital. I'm, 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 again, man. First of all, congrats on the legacy. Congrats on the body of work. I dig it. I dig it. I dig it. Who, who do you say to yourself, man? I'm sorry, I never got an opportunity to work with this artist. Uh, yeah, my man. There's quite a few people, you know. But you see what done gone already. They done gone already, you know. Yeah. You are, I know. I, I know every any gold mine you can dig, you know. Yeah. You understand? Sometimes you have to leave another mine for somebody else to dig that. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. So I am proud of all who I have been work. I have the opportunity to work with. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I am and I'm gonna give God thanks, you know? Yeah. Every day. That's grateful yeah. for the ones that yeah. did pass through yeah. the studio. Yeah, man. Which yeah, was man. I'm gonna say the ones, I mean it's a lengthy, lengthy, yeah, lengthy list a long list man now from when we talk about sound system culture do you think sound system culture because this is another conversation i was having with somebody the other day um you know you know, you know the sound system culture as prevalent as it was back then um also you know when it comes to noise ordinance and a whole bunch of things being out there playing music in the open sphere you know what i mean without being turned off and harassed by the, the, the by, by Babylon and all them like a thing there. There's a whole lot of restrictions right now. But outside of that, just the fact that technology has changed things. Cause dance hall used to be the place where people went to hear all the stuff right. when they couldn't hear on the radio. Mm -hmm. Right? It was a place where certain where we got our news because in the TV and the news people only I give it that what I want to give it. Mm -hmm. Right? Restriction, yeah. With things changing on the internet and all them things that do you think that is a possibility that we're gonna 
surpass sound system culture where it's going to be gone and, and, and maybe a, a, an annual novelty thing or so forth? Well, you know, if the bigger heads them don't look into it, you know, it, um, that culture will surely take time and, and leave us in the Western Hemisphere here because people outside in, in, in embracing it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Europe, Japan, China, mm -hmm. them little places they build them thing. Mm -hmm. You understand? And and them have them place where them can go and enjoy themselves. Mm -hmm. Little Jamaica or New York or Miami. Or, I just say click a reggae, them to lock it off. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So so how the thing for grow? Mm-hmm. Can go so you, you you have to have areas where open for these type of places to allow people can go weekly, daily, any time them say alright, Wednesday night or so, Monday night or so. And you make the people them do them thing. And you have restriction, yes, because we don't re re restriction things that got us yeah. mash down. We need Regulation. Rest restriction yeah. need to be there, mm -hmm. but give them more time. Yeah. You know? yeah. Give them some blies, man, and so the thing can grow. Yeah. Because the visitors that are, are come to the island and come to the country, they want, can go to a spot. Yeah. Yeah. And then they want to go to a spot and people just cut them off. So as they reach, they hear the sign in the sun, light a flash, so, so you have to leave yeah. now. So I guess they might have to look into that, you know? Yeah. The time too short. So so based on what you said, and the world won't lose sound system culture. We will. Yeah, man. Because as as it's, and it's, the world are building. It them are build and we are I, I, I refuse it. Ladies and gentlemen, you hear it, you hear it, you hear it, you hear it, you hear it. Tomorrow, it's going to be a dope event. Let me pull up all the information too, because you guys need to come out to VP Records and vibe out with Mr. Bobby Digital. It's going to be crazy when we say crazy we mean crazy and even before we get to that you know what let me tell you again get the albums bobby digital brand spanking new latest releases extra wicked and serious times if you ain't got them you whack just take it from me if you have them in your collection your collection's whack all right remember me tell you so so make sure you go ahead and get those two now you ready for the thing tomorrow is you ready for them Born early. <laughs> I, I know, so I just come to play some music. It's a whole of vibes. I just come for whole of vibes, you know, because it's all about having fun, you know. I don't, I really don't come to really watch what a man I do. I just come to do my little thing. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, Record store day. Yeah, man. All my little and just have fun and yeah. call it that, you know, because if me, if me think go prepare for have clash, Mm -hmm. It's not pretty. <laughs> <laughs> but but who? That's a blasphemous thing, you know. Because who would have, who can come clash Bobby Digital right about I mean, now? I mean, I mean, I mean, not clash no man, man. <laughs> <laughs> not clash no man, man. But you say I believe him that if Bobby yeah, Digital yeah, could clash somebody right now. No, I mean, not clash, clashing. We just come to have fun. Just <laughs> play two music and enjoy ourselves. You understand? And it's all vinyl. It's no laptop. No, sir. So them say no laptop. And no. Man. And no thumb drive, <laughs> no gum drive, you know? <laughs> no. Straight vinyl. Yeah, yeah, yeah Straight yeah, vinyl. Yeah, and yeah, this man. is going to be live broadcast also. Yeah, so it's coming on live on the air. It's VP Records, um, Heat Wave, Bobby Digital, Super Twitch, Galaxy Sound, D Dangerous, DJ Pepperbox, all right? Now, you didn't come by yourself, right? We have a, a, a young artist in the building that we need to drop some information from. So introduce him for me. Well... This is the offspring of the offspring, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you put yeah, it. Yeah, man, the offspring of the offspring, you know? Sound like an album title. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Introduce yourself to the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big up yourself, G. Cool. Cool, no man. I go by the name of G-Hack, you know? Easy. So with G's, I like, yeah? <laughs> don't know, don't know. Great mind, great job. Any G, you know? Once, once a G, you know? Good something, you know? You know what I mean? We can't swear for the K then, man. You no. know what I mean? No. But <laughs> <laughs> so talk to me a little bit about your music because you, you got some stuff you, you're about to push and promote, right? Yeah, I have some stuff that I'm currently promoting. Mm -hmm. Brand new single name, Wassum. Mm -hmm. For the people, them longing for the good, good old Jamaican vibes and facetious, you know? Is it out? Right, right now. iTunes? Stream. Sp what, what, what name? Talk to me. Facetious. Facetious. All right, spell that for me. 
F A C E T I O U S. Cool, I'm on good school now. This is a G then. <laughs> good school, go. Good school, go. All right. Clean version. You have a clean version? There's one version. A one version. All right, well, guess what? Now, while we run the thing, if they shut the down, at least it's, it's the right time for shutting. Are you ready for it? No, no, you that. Bobby, that. Bobby, take over the airways, you know. So you have to kind of stop the thing oh. first before we get to that. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, it, all right, make sure the right one, Mev. Mev, no. Like this? Yeah. No, that ain't it. The name facetious. Yeah. Uh, you know we're gonna find it. You know what? Let's go. But let's let's go by the artist name. Spell it for me. G I R K. Ladies and gentlemen, we're not left until we find the tune, and so we we'll do it. While Bobby can dig in a film record box, and we're digging. They play the one there where Bob, what Bob just mixed. Awesome. This. Yeah. Mad thing. And the thing. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. We have something no special for you. Awesome, ladies and gentlemen. Blue mountain for us to climb. Albums, Jark. Or should I say the artist? And this is mixed by Mr. D, man. Yo, let me tell you something. Inside of trading, that's not fear. That, that ain't fear. 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 <laughs> so, well, I know. So, <laughs> yo, that's not fear. That's not fear. So, 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 that's your single. Because by Mr. Bobby did, because me I listen to it right about now and it sound warm. It sound, <laughs> it sound like I like metal. Yeah, yeah. It don't, it, don't, it don't sound like this is not what's popping on the laptops today. True. You know what I'm saying? So right now this is insider trading. This is this this is what Martha went to jail for. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But me love it because guess what? If I Bobby mix my thing them too, but I drop a tune every Friday. I just saw the thing up. Bon, 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 Which I'm a place. Novelty, welcome, welcome, welcome. Morelli Wagwan, Romania. London's in the building. Jersey. New York. Cut your welcome. Uh, if you want to find a piece of mine. Nah, it ain't fear. It ain't fear. It ain't fear. But I like it. it ain't fear. Because I, 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 when I heard it, it, it for me, sit on a talk to you right now, young artist, whatever the case may be, it, it, that's not what's represented. All right? Right about now, we get legendary sounded stuff. That's co- you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I expect to say, yes, it sounds like a Bobby Digital mix. I may expect to say, a elder, I drop them kind of tune now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> But it's a big tune. It's a big tune. You have another, you have another one out that I need to be dropping for the masses? You can stream, man. Just pull them all up? Play so nice for the ladies, then. So nice. So, yeah. Oh, shit, I went right to that. That's not an unfair tune, but we're on it anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, the one that is so nice, all right? GR, big, 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 big tune. No, 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 no. We already named the album Offspring after the Offspring, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't wanna be so nice. I don't wanna be so nice. So nice. So nice. I don't wanna be so nice. I don't wanna be so nice. So nice. So nice. I don't wanna be so nice. I don't wanna be so nice. So nice. So nice. I don't wanna be so nice. I don't wanna be so nice. So nice. So nice. I don't wanna be so nice. I don't wanna be so nice. So nice. So nice. So 
simple thing that you do is between me and you. You're always there. Papa Digital. How, how proud are you when you hear all them tune that drop? Or, or, I shouldn't even say when you hear them tune that drop because you are dropping them anyway. But when when it come when when you hear them thing, you come to you for mix. I said, boy, you know some mm-hmm. offspring off the album, my album that thing, all right? Offspring, the offspring, right? How, how, how proud are you when you hear all them thing you come true? Because especially this is 2019, right? Where majority of what come out is let's just call it what it is. It's garbage. You know what I mean? This to me have a timeless sound. It's like how 30 years later, 20 odd years later. I'm playing songs from Bobby Digital with sound like they were made yesterday like by Sanchez. legends and Sanchez and Garnet Silk and Beaneman and all them peoples, right? That's how I feel about how the song you feel. Longevity kind of vibes. You know, my brother late rest in peace with us a big paper chown that. True. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, 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 so talk to me first, Mr. Bobby Digital, how you feel when, when, when this is presented to you? You see, when we hear these things, you know, we know it's not a fast food of a pop art. Yeah. Not a hustling thing. Yeah. You understand? If you love something, you have to just put your heart into it. Mm-hmm. You understand? So, when I hear the lyrical content and mm-hmm. the whole vibe, I say, yeah. Yeah. You're on the right route, you know? So, yeah. When you're on the right route, the thing they going to shoot. Easy. Easy. But he also probably didn't have a choice but to, but, but to do it that way because that's lineage right there. You, you see, probably grew up listening. All right. I he, he, he grew up I listened to the yeah. roots, the roots, you know? Yeah. So. People make it sound like a, a, a blood thing I come through the vein. You know, blood, a blood, blood, a blood, you know? You know mm-hmm. what I mean? But it's the fact that you're nurtured in a certain thing. Then talk about nature versus nurture. True. You could have been Bobby Digital offspring all you want. If he didn't grow you up around this, you would not be putting this out. You know what I'm saying? Now talk to me about how invaluable the experience is and the benefits is of having somebody like a Bible Digital for bounce ideas off on creative and say, yo, listen, this is what I got. Give me your feedback. Well, the valley is the sound, you know. Mm-hmm. So once you're going for a specific sound, mm-hmm. it, it's easy. So getting yourself um, trained to, to an authentic sound and an authentic groove, it, it will come naturally. Because right. if, it's, if it doesn't have that sound, it, it's, it's considered boring to yeah. you. But probably somebody else like it, but yeah. I wouldn't like it. I feel you. I feel you. Because you know quality. Yeah. You weren't raised in a fast food restaurant. No. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. The one they are real cooking. <laughs> Itals and it's vital. Both. Trust me, trust me, trust me, trust me, trust me. Listen, keep shooting me over the information and the music because right now I I play a little different from the masses because I'm not a DJ. True. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I, I'm not bound to the restrictions of the DJ to try to keep up with everybody. I'm a podcaster. I play whatever's in my headphones. So if I like it, I play it. If you send me the thing I'm going to like it, I'm going to play it. You can't vex it because I'm not a DJ. True. All right? And I say it over and over so that people don't vex it because I'm not a DJ. You know what I mean? But now this right here will join my playlist. True. Because it's, it, that's something me want to listen to on my headphones. You yeah, know man. what I mean? Keep up the good work, brother. Sir Bobby Digital. No, you, you, you got to be tired because I am. You know what I'm saying? So I appreciate you, first of all, stopping through, spending some time with us, blessing up me and the listening audience and the viewing audience all over. Uh, we're going to recircle it and make everybody be able to watch it. All those people who are sleeping and we'll wake up to something good tomorrow morning. Just touch down, yeah? yeah Just touch uh, fresh. All right, sir. Drop, well, you, drop your social media for the masses. Yeah, my social media is G-I-R-K. You can Google it. That is G-I-A-R-K. You know, I'm on Instagram, Spotify, any musical platform you can find me there. Kept it simple. g Yeah. All right. Sir Bobby Digital, any information you want to get the masses before we get out of here? Keep it real. And tell the man, them say, well, oh, have the laptop, 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 laptop. Come let me show them what a real dub plate look like. <laughs> <laughs> real, real, real steel. Real steel. Bobby dub plate. Them and them camera. they will play. From, from here's 30 days we have them. And you go and hear all them clean, like a whistle.
simple thing that to do is between me and you. You're always there. You're honest, you're sincere. My love for you is growing. Yeah, break down, no. I wish I never liked you, but I got to be beside you, no. Ladies and gentlemen, the song is called So Nice. No way, no way. <laughs> no mix up, no. I love you, no joke. I really want to tell you that for sure. I want to thank everybody that's locked in with us right now, that's having a good time with us. I appreciate you, appreciate you, appreciate you. It's time for me to get up out of here. This episode is also brought to you in part by Aqua Gem Records' latest release, Contagious, by Mr. Chris DeMontague. Ladies and gentlemen, I smell another one, another instant classic. Mr. Chris DeMontague It's called Contagious, Aqua Gem Records' V-Pal Music presents. Yeah, yeah. Is our vibes not true? I love it. Another one for your collection. Get it at Apple Music, Spotify, iTunes, wherever all your digital retailers and there you have it thank you so much for tuning in it has indeed been a pleasure please be sure to subscribe to the podcast homegrown with g cole available now on itunes google play stitcher tune in spotify iHeartRadio, and all your podcast platforms also please check out the website homegrown with g cole.com to listen and for all things homegrown to watch the video of this interview subscribe to our youtube channel remember be safe be kind and be good to each other my name is g cole and this is Homegrown. Nakiki ni casa música. Homegrown with G. Cole. Estás escuchando Homegrown con G. Cole. 您现在正在收听的是 Homegrown with G. Cole. You're listening to Homegrown with G. Cole. Remember all the music played here on the podcast Homegrown with G. Cole is available on iTunes, Spotify, and all your digital retailers. Please support the artists.